I would just basically want to pick your brain about the barbershop world because I find it fascinating. It kind yeah. of reminds me of like the hip hop world a little bit. Yeah, I feel yeah. like barbers are like braggadocious. And Very like, much so. I follow all these like Twitter barber accounts. Yeah. And yeah. there's like, like, there's like this like hip hop rap element to it, which is kind of funny. And in general, I've also noticed the barber world is often really low tech. It's, it's like dudes are like texting each other like, hey, what time do you want to come back? It's like, I got 9 a.m. open. Um, you've gone the high tech route all the way. Yeah. Um, how much effort does that save an administration in the first place? So it, it saves a lot of effort, but in a funny way, there's a little bit of a learning curve and an uphill battle on the front end. Because as you were mentioning with barbers, they get very used to allowing their customers to text them, allowing their customers to, they're, they're very accessible in that regard. So you, as you're staffing and as you have this great team of barbers, you have to get them comfortable with the idea that, okay, everything's taken care of. Mm -hmm. Because with our, with our systems, it's hugely, uh, hugely beneficial to the barbers because everything's taken care of. Text message, you know, reminders, email reminders, uh, even the booking online itself, the customers can do it all themselves, but the, the barbers have to change their way of working, their mindset to allow us to utilize those, that technology at the, the full capacity, right? So I have to show the barbers like, hey, if somebody's trying to t text you, send them the link. Uh -huh. Don't say, <laughs> oh, I got you, and then put in that work because you're teaching them bad habits, right? So for us, it's a little bit of a learning curve because it's new. That being said, uh, once they do get the hang of it, it's an amazing workflow because now my barbers are able to come into work and cut hair at the best of their ability, give the customers a great experience and go home. There's no more of the, oh, text at midnight or you know 11 p.m. while they're at the bars going, hey, you think you could get me a, an appointment yeah. tomorrow morning? You know what I mean? It's like, send them the link. They'll, they'll, they'll use it. Yeah. I said, like in the digital world, I used to do this with like consulting. Yeah. Where people would be like, hey, are these four times good? I'm like, no, how about these four times? Exactly. I was like, I spent more time just scheduling the damn thing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> man. It's, 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 it's very much a funny, a funny thing to navigate because a lot of people get so worried about you know, not pandering to their clients on every, you know, waiting on them hand and foot, right? So it's like getting them comfortable with the idea that everything's taken care of, your customers will be happy to use the online booking tool. Those sort of things are uh, very important, very important. So and, it, is it like, sorry, it, yeah. is it like, is it the customers that always want to text or is it the barbers or? I think that it's the customers that initiate a lot of that relationship for, after the barber has created that um, that opening, right? So if, if you get my number or you follow me on Instagram, which is a huge part of our business, Instagram's massive. Hmm. Once you have that accessibility to a barber, now you think, oh, well, he'll just book it for me. Yeah. Whereas the reality <laughs> is, no, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> my favorite is if I'm if I'm you know in the shop, uh, I'm booked. I'm I'm literally cutting hair there's no opening for me to say oh one second let me check my phone so i can book these appointments like that's not not a possibility yeah. so you know a lot of it's the customer's accessibility to barbers and getting my barbers comfortable with send them the link say hey you can book it right here as opposed to oh let me check on that for you you know that's that's not necessary now related how many people like call the store on a daily basis you know it's it's really funny you ask that because that was one of my big assumptions coming into this industry is or coming into opening soric was okay maybe we don't even have a phone <laughs> i thought what a what a world right where you could just not even have a phone definitely can you you need a phone people for some reason i think it's the going on google you search a barber shop or a clothing store you click either their website which takes you to the home page or you click their phone number which calls it immediately mm -hmm. that's the differentiator that causes people to call way more than you'd expect it's because as they're Googling, they go, oh, perfect, Soric, this looks really cool, call. Whereas the booking tool is on the website, 
ClickBook now. So it's that it's the the degrees of separation, you know, in terms of is it mainly like first time people calling? Very uh, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so people call like constantly to book a, their appointments. A lot of people call, man. A instead lot of, of people. the instead web tool? of the web tool, interesting. Which you've used it. It's super easy. I would prefer to use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And and you choose the time. There's no oh, let me look at the you know. What day are you thinking? You make all those decisions it's in like, real time. It's like, which guy do you want? And like, if you're talking to a person, it's like, oh, I don't want this guy. I want that guy. Like, it's, it's the whole, the whole <laughs> thing is, the whole thing is very funny in that regard. You know, it's, you'd, you'd expect people to be very inclined to use the online booking tool and they do. And it is something where once my customers have used it, they love it. But I think, uh, another thing is, uh, by calling, I think some customers feel like they can get a little bit of, uh, you know, maybe, maybe flexibility, like, oh, I didn't see the times that I wanted. Let me call them. And, mm. you know, it's, it's a weird, it's a weird relationship, but, uh, you know where I've noticed this. So, uh, we do a lot of consulting with yeah. companies in the medical field. Yeah. Calling is the biggest in the medical field. There's something about like having a, a doctor or medical procedure. You want to know, like there's someone there, you know, I think that's part of it, but I'm surprised how many doctors don't have online booking available. Well, I've worked with these clients. They have the same thing as you. More people will rather call. Really? I don't know. That's so weird. Because for it me, it is. I, I've, I mean, I was just trying to book a, a doctor's appointment the other day. I go online. I'm thinking, perfect. I'll just... Because uh, another thing is if it's a Saturday, I can't call the office. They're not mm -hmm. there. So having an online booking tool is great because boom, done. Not available. So I guess, I guess maybe... I think there's also a little bit of an old school mentality because they still have, you know, the full on receptionists and all that stuff. Dude, just handling and legacy stuff is so powerful. Like, it it's is. like, why are you doing this? It's like, because we did it last year. Yeah. It, yeah it's it's yeah. just that. Exactly. I think that's because I would have to change everything. Yeah. You know, it's it's that they, they have that in their mind that is such a hurdle to get over that, oh, why even bother with that? We're booked, we're busy, we're done. But I've seen yeah. newer specialty things, kind of like gyms and stuff like that. Yeah. Most of those will go full, just full. only yeah. like, uh, don't call us, don't talk to exactly. us. Sorry, like yeah. if you want that, you just yeah. can't. One That's of my it. friend's gyms in town, they they had no reception, like the, the trainers would be running the classes and they had an online phone, but it wasn't, like 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 a Google Voice number or something like that, but everything was was all handled online. That's, it's, it's, yeah. Okay, so I've talked to so many barbers about this, and the low tech factor of most barber shops no. probably contributes to this, but uh, because they had no idea what I was talking about subscription haircuts. Yeah. Why can't you put someone on a subscription for a haircut? Like let's say, so when I was doing like a tight fade, yeah, I liked it, but I got to go in like every week yeah. to keep that yeah. thing tight. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's a lot of scheduling, even through the web tool. Like yeah. I gotta like come all the time. I just rather have like a thing that it automatically sets it and like yeah. it's in a calendar. Yeah. Is that not a thing? So, Why? so what, what I can, what I do with Soric is we'll set, you know, a reoccurring appointment easily. Uh, the, the problem with subscriptions in our space specifically, because I consider we're in the luxury men's grooming space a little bit more elevated than what you'd find in a neighborhood barbershop from an experience and a skill level. That's a very, you know, there's a differentiator there. You've got your sports clips, you've got your smaller neighborhood barbershops, then you have Soric, uh, my friend's shop, Shed in town is another great example. All of these, we're, we're very much craft you know, similar mm -hmm. with a coffee shop. You can go to Starbucks or you can go to, you know, Cuvée, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. So I find that um, the difference there is our, our focus on craft means we also have to hire people that want careers, not gig work. Mm. And what that means is our pay structure, as opposed to just doing an hourly pay structure, we're a commission pay structure and we're, we're, we're paying those barbers out for every haircut. The problem with the subscription is if I, let's say you come in and you're like, man, I loved seeing Dean. He did a great job. That's my guy. And you buy into a subscription and you're expecting to come in as much as you want to get a haircut and you go to book on a Thursday and Dean's booked up, but you've already paid for your haircuts. Mm -hmm. It causes this friction where the customers are going, I paid for it. I need it today. Mm -hmm. Where's my haircut? The problem is, okay, we can say, well, Jason's available. 
okay, but that that's not my guy. And also, we've already paid out, you know, commission, mm -hmm. right? So if, if you pay it up front, then we're paying out commission on that sale. Where does the commission go? To which barber? To who and what? Where? You know what I mean? So it's, oh, interesting. It's it's the pay structure that because I wanted to pay for Dean, but I got you, and I'm like, well, yeah, I didn't get what I want. That you're getting then, money that he's supposed so, to get. Okay, got and it. it affects it affects the the customer experience and the 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 internal logistics with the business. You know, it's it's a it's a funny little thing to solve. Yeah. Yeah, I've always thought because like in the software world, you have like subscriptions, like yeah. I mean, you know, Netflix or anything exactly. like that, where it's just like it just dings you that money, and you're like, okay, I took it, I got my service. It's and and that is it is something I'm working on figuring out with our software company. Mm -hmm. uh, the the problem is you know just the dollars and cents and where they go, right? So that that's really the only issue. I think that subscriptions are great from a revenue standpoint. The, the, the liquidity is the most important thing, right? So if I can get all of your business up front, even at a discount, I know I've got your business, right? It's yeah. it's in the bank. So there, there's a huge value there that we're we're trying to navigate value to the customer and value for for our business but it's it's on its way i think it i think subscriptions for the luxury space are are coming sooner than later also if it's self-managed through the web portal that'd yeah. be great like I, if i want to come to you every week and i book a time and it schedules yeah. it and then like i could say like in 24 hours advance like i can't yeah. be here or whatever exactly and then you exactly. don't you don't get dinged i don't get dinged yeah that's yeah that's awesome a hundred percent and i think that that it's on its way for sure